Hey everyone, welcome to or back to the channel. My name is Hunter Haugen, and in today's video I'm going to be introducing you to all of my reptiles and amphibians, and I have a lot of them. So let's get into it. I'm super excited for today's video. I wanted to give like a little disclaimer. Remember, I have a lot of reptiles and I've gotten this many over the course of almost three years. This isn't something that I just went out and got, so please don't just go out and get a ton of reptiles. Be sure to do lots of research and make sure that you have budgeted to be able to afford enough money and time for all of these animals if you want to get some reptiles. So I work really hard to be able to care for all of my reptiles and so I just want to put that out there that this is not like something you should just go out and do because you see reptile YouTubers who have lots of reptiles. Now with that said, let's introduce you to my first reptile. The first reptile that we're going to be meeting today is Briar the Plains Hognose. Now she was adopted from Crimson Exotics, which is actually the rescue that I co-founded. She was being fostered by another foster and just seeing pictures and stuff of her, I fell in love and absolutely had to have her. So I adopted her and she is the most adorable little hognose I have ever met. She's such a good girl. She is in this enclosure, that enclosure behind me. I'll link the video right up there if you want to go check it out where I made that enclosure. But yeah, she is a great girl. I absolutely love having a hog nose. Even though I don't see her often, she's usually underground. I actually started filming this video because she was climbing up the background. And so I'm like, okay, now's the perfect opportunity to film this since I can actually find Briar right now. But yeah, she is a female. I've had her shed. DNA tested you can send in like a piece of snake shed depending on the genus of snake that you have or family any colubrids you can and they will tell you what the sex is and I was like you know you can tell she's a female by looking at her tail but I wanted to be 100% sure and so yeah I <laughs> spent $15 to find out something that I already knew but it's all good because she's very cute moving on this here is the most adorable leopard gecko you've ever seen. No, I'm kidding, but this is Pippin. She is my female blizzard leopard gecko. Um, I have had her quite a while. She was the second leopard gecko that I ever got. I'm not going in the order that I got them. I'm just going in the order of where they are in the reptile room so that I don't have to move around a ton. But she is a good girl. She does pretty well with handling, but blizzards, um, their morph is known for just like never wanting to sit still. They always like to be doing something. Pippin's favorite hobbies include eating dubia roaches, eating hornworms, and eating superworms. And those are all of her hobbies. She also likes to climb her background. But yeah, she's a good girl and she just, she's, I don't know what to say. She's just absolutely adorable. And I am so glad that I get to have Pippin in my life because she is just pretty awesome. Oh, also, I, before we move on to the next animal, wanted to mention that it is Vlogmas, but this year I'm not doing a video every other day like I typically do. I just don't have time in my schedule this year, unfortunately, but I'm going to be uploading some like reptile vlogs, all that fun stuff, along with my regular videos, so there will be more videos than normal. It's going to be super fun and awesome, so stay tuned for a lot of extra videos this month. I'm super excited. This next animal is someone who you have never met on this channel. I have never showed them on social media. This is Lake the Ambistema tigernum mavorcium, which is a species of tiger salamander found here in Wyoming. And you'll notice she doesn't have an eye on the right side. And that's because there was some construction work being done in our neighborhood. And she was found after having her half of her head chopped off. Yeah, it was a very unfortunate situation, but I looked into the laws and I'm like, okay, she's not gonna die. I had or she would die if she was out there, but I'm gonna make sure that she doesn't. So I had to put antibiotics on her face like a couple times a day and force feed her because her mouth was like kind of shut just by goop and gunk and stuff. It was pretty sad, but she has one eye and not the other. I had to force feed her, it was a whole thing. But now she's doing well and she will be with me for a long time. She is just, absolutely amazing. I love her. I don't know what to say. She loves to eat. That's like her only hobby. She buries herself and then she eats and just loves life. Super tiny. And I should mention I have super clean hands today and I'm washing between all of the species of amphibians that I'm holding. So don't worry. But yeah, this is Lake. Um, I'm super excited for you all to finally meet her 
and we shall see if she regrows that other eye. It's been a couple of months now, so I don't think she will. Tiger salamanders can regenerate most parts of their body, including like half of their brain, but I'm not entirely sure if they can regenerate their eye, so we shall find out. I haven't been able to find any scientific literature on whether or not they do, so we will wait and see, but yeah, this is Lake. They have a lot of common names, so I just go with the scientific name. Moving on. Next up, let's talk about my white's tree frogs. This here is Prada, and she's the one I'm gonna be like holding while I show this. Normally, I would be wearing gloves, but I used up my last pair of gloves yesterday, and according to Amazon, my new gloves aren't gonna get here for two more days, so I never hold the white's tree frogs except for very rare instances like this, so just see, this is Prada. Now I'm gonna go put her back, and then I'll talk about her with B-roll. Okay, so my white's tree frogs are Prada and Burberry. So Prada was one of two white's tree frogs that I got in May of 2020, Parker and Prada. And Parker unfortunately did pass away. We're still not sure why, but this has been several months. And recently I introduced you all to Burberry, which is Prada's new friend who came from Minnesota. So they are living together. They're about to get a super exciting new enclosure. Um, I'm working with a company on it, so I don't think I can share any details yet, but that's coming up soon and it's gonna be very awesome. But they are super awesome. They, of course, are white tree frogs, so I only handle them like once a month, and that's typically like for a video or something, but otherwise I just have to put them in like a container when I'm cleaning their enclosure. They're not like a reptile that you could put on your shoulder or anything like that. They love to eat. Of course, white tree frogs, that's kind of what they're known for, loving to eat, but yeah, they just kind of do their thing. They love sitting there basking. Yeah, they're just super chill. I love having white tree frogs. They're very fun. So yeah, that is Prada and Burberry. Next, we're going to be talking about River, my bearded dragon, but she is brewmating, so I can't actually take her out because that would be stressful to her. For those of you who don't know, brewmation, the scientific definition is on the screen right now, but basically that is the reptile equivalent of hibernating. It's a good thing. I'm glad she's brewmating because it means that I'll get to spend even more years with her but it's so sad I miss River. But you're seeing B-roll of her right now, so you know that she is a beautiful bearded dragon. She's from 7th Galaxy Dragons in Florida, and her morph is a lot of words, so I'm looking it up in my app right now. She is an orange, blue bar, hypomelanistic, and 100% het translucent, so she's got a lot of genetics going on, and she is just an awesome girl. I cannot wait for the spring when she's out and about again so I can feed her and interact with her instead of just her sleeping in a box of dirt all day. But until then, we have to move on to Peyton. Peyton picked the worst time to shed, but Peyton loves to come out of her enclosure, so she walked onto my hand even though she is in shed. Peyton is white right now because she is in shed. Normally she's like a beautiful dark color, but she was my first ever reptile. I got her December 27th, I wanna say, of 2018. So I've been keeping Peyton as long as I've been keeping reptiles, and she is just amazing. I absolutely love Peyton. So, I got her, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the video, because like 40,000 people have seen the video where I got her at PetSmart, which was of course a mistake. Um, you shouldn't get reptiles or amphibians from PetSmart or Petco because they come from similar to puppy mill facilities. Unfortunately, I wasn't aware of that at the time, but now I always adopt or purchase from breeders or rehoming situations instead. But Peyton, I absolutely love her. She is just such a great leopard gecko. She has given me some stress when she has dropped her tail. One time, there was a thunderstorm or a windstorm or something, and a tree broke, like, near my window, and the sound, I believe, is what made her get scared enough that she dropped her tail, because she was also shedding at that time, so a little more of a high-stress time, but like I said, Peyton does so well with handling. She doesn't even care that she's shedding. She's like, so? I want to be held anyway. She likes to come out of her enclosure, and sometimes when I walk by, she will, like, paw at the glass, being like, hello, is it handling time, or what are you doing? Why are you not giving me the attention that I deserve right now? She's such a good leopard gecko, and I absolutely love her. I owe everything in my life that relates to reptiles to Peyton the leopard gecko, because she's the reason why I love reptiles and amphibians as much as I do. So Peyton has such a special place in my heart, and like, I love this gecko as much as anyone can love a gecko. She is so awesome. Now it's time to put her back. Peyton, oh, she's like, don't pick me up. I like your shoulder, it's nice and warm. Well, you have a DP projector that you can go hang out underneath and I'll feed you as soon as you're done shedding. 
Next, we have Persephone, the Woodhouse's Toad, or Anaxiris Woodhousey. Um, she is sitting a little strange because she doesn't love the bright light, so I'm gonna like hold her back here, but she is a lovely little toad. I have a whole video about her story, but basically she was in a like irrigation box in our yard when we lived in Oregon, and she was like three grams or something and nearly dead, and now she's getting so big and doing so well. It's been couple of years maybe I'm not entirely sure but she is an awesome toad she loves to eat she spends a lot of her time sitting in this green food dish she just tried to eat me watch this she loves food yeah that's my finger she's cute but there's not a lot going on in these little brain cells no but she loves to eat seriously she has an awesome enclosure the video about her enclosure didn't do super well so if you want to go check it out I will have it linked in the top right corner. But there's not much to say about Persephone. She's just a super cool little toad. I absolutely love her, and I'm super excited that she's doing so well. This is Topher, the golden tree frog, who I am now gonna put back. Okay, so Topher is a golden tree frog, or Polypedus leucomastix, I believe is the scientific name, who I am fostering. So they, I'm not sure their sex yet. I haven't had a chance to like, look at the hands for nuptial pads, but I haven't heard any chirping or croaking, so I'm not entirely sure, but they will be available in the spring on Crimson Exotics for adoption. All right, and this is Melon the Blizzard Leopard Gecko, and I'm fostering him too for Crimson Exotics. He was rehomed to us by someone who was unfortunately not able to care for them anymore. I think they said they didn't have time for him, and it was the perfect situation, so I took him in. I believe he was a from Texas, but yeah, he's just a super pretty leopard gecko. He's a blizzard morph and he was originally from the same breeder as Pippin, my personal blizzard leopard gecko who you met earlier in the video. So that is him and now to the animal that everyone has been waiting for. Okay, this here is my European legless lizard who does not have a name yet. I'm not even sure what the sex is on this lovely little one, but I've only had them for two weeks and this was my absolute dream reptile. So like Genuinely a dream come true to have this incredible reptile. If you have any name suggestions, comment down below, but they are doing so well. I wanted to give you all a little update because so many of you enjoyed the unboxing video. They don't absolutely love handling, but we're doing better. I handle them for about five minutes a day just to kind of calm them down, and they're doing well eating a variety of foods. I'll make a whole video about that eventually because it's a process getting them to eat healthy foods because in the previous home, this little one wasn't being fed the healthiest foods. Yeah, so that is legless lizard attitude for you. They'll be like super calm until they see something that they're like, oh, that's my reflection, for example. <laughs> and then they don't like that. So I'm gonna put this little one back here in just a minute. But I just wanted to thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna be making lots of awesome reptile and amphibian videos December for Vlogmas, which is very exciting. If you want to support my channel, you can shop a variety of reptile and amphibian designs at shop.hunterhawk.com and that seriously helps me make these videos and pay to care for my awesome reptiles. You can also join my Patreon at patreon.com slash hunterhawk for awesome perks such as your name at the end of my videos, behind the scenes, extra content, videos early, and all sorts of fun stuff. So this has been all of my reptiles and amphibians. My name is Hunter Hauk and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Say goodbye to the legless lizard too. Bye everyone.